Jamaican communities. The biggest fans of Jamaican music were the original skinheads. A message to you, Rudy. Skinhead had formed out of the hard end of mod, the football terrace boot boys, and the rude boy style from Kingston, Jamaica. Or you might wind up in jail. Along with their love of reggae, the skinheads took both their too short trousers and their close cropped hair from West Indian immigrants. Skinhead reggae became a distinct and distinctly British thing. As a teenager, it was all the scar stuff. It was that was the era of 60, 69, 70, all those great records coming through, the Desmond Deckers and stuff. But also, they used to go down Lewisham Market and get the Jamaican scar stuff as it came in. My mother was Jewish and was from Dagenham. My father was Nigerian and went back to Nigeria. Um, after I was born, and I was adopted into a white, working-class English family. Because I was the only black kid, it was easier to be the mascot of the skinheads <laughs> than anything else. So, and I really, really liked their music, and they used to play ska music and Long Shot Kick the Bucket and some reggae music, and they were deeply into Tamla and, and soul, and so that's where I began hearing all those records. I mean, I came to black music, in a way, through white skinheads. Yeah, 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 yeah. One of the things that's really important to understand about this Brit skinhead reggae phenomenon was that it, it could quite easily coexist with a kind of antipathy, a hatred for, the, for, for black people. I mean, there were a few, you know, there always is the problematic presence of a few black skinheads. And of course, their sense of who they were after was qualified by their desire to, to, to engage in what they called then Paki bashing. But what exactly do you do when you see Pakistanis? Well, sometimes we eat them, sometimes we just leave them. Packies ain't so much your enemy, they're just like a pastime, aren't they? Packies. <laughs> just jump on them. It's not their colour, because, you know, the Jamaicans are all right. A lot of Jamaican mates. I mean, they don't like Pakistanis either. At that point, you know, we had grown up with the whole Enoch Powell sort of speeches. We'd grown up with the National Front. We were fully aware of... Um, our parents getting abused in the streets. In this country, in 15 or 20 years' time, the black man will have the whip hand over the white man. Powell's opinions were off the scale of respectable politics, but they set the tone for racists and neo-Nazis who kept themselves visible through the 70s. They were usually skinheads in their ranks, and street style continued to get mixed up with street politics. In 1977, the National Front organised a provocative march through Lewisham in south-east London, an area inhabited by both poor blacks and poor whites. These were some of the ugliest scenes of violence London has seen this year. At the riot which ensued, it wasn't just fascists fighting anti-fascists for control of the streets, it was skinheads versus punks. It was very tribal, but you know,